I'm Dr. Ann Helmenstein for About.com. I'm going to show you how to make a smoke bomb using common, inexpensive ingredients and without setting your kitchen or yourself on fire. Smoke bombs are classic fare for Fourth of July celebrations or any holiday that involves fireworks, plus it's just a fun project for older kids or adults. A smoke bomb is an excellent introduction into the art of pyrotechnics because it's stable, meaning it can't blow up. It's non-toxic, in fact you could eat it, although I wouldn't, and it's easy to get great results. Are you ready to try it? Let's go. You only need two ingredients for this project, sucrose, which is ordinary table sugar, and potassium nitrate, which is sold as saltpeter in garden supply stores, or sometimes as stump remover, which is what I'm using today. The ratio of the ingredients is three parts of potassium nitrate to two parts of sugar. This isn't one of those projects where you need really specific measurements, so as long as you're close, you should get great results. You put these into a pan over medium to high heat. As you continue to mix the ingredients, you'll start to see them melt together and brown. This is caramelizing the sugar, and the smoke bomb smells a little bit like candy. You could eat it, as I said before, but I wouldn't. Potassium nitrate is used as a preservative, but it's not generally recommended as your main ingredient in your cooking. Once the ingredients are all melted together, you're going to turn the heat off and drop spoonfuls of the smoke bomb onto the foil. There's nothing magical about the foil. It's just there because it's easy to peel the smoke bomb off of it and if you can't get the smoke bomb off of the foil it doesn't really matter because it's not going to burn. Try to get as much as possible off of the pan. If you're using a non-stick pan, cleanup is a lot easier. If you have any trouble getting the smoke bomb off of your pan or your spoon, just use some hot water. Now we're ready to go outside and light these. I hope you enjoyed the smoke bomb project. To learn more about smoke bombs, or to get ideas for other projects, visit me on the web at about.com. Thanks for watching.